Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Brandy Plans. I hope you guys are good. As you can see, I am using this absolutely amazing kit from Sticker Geek Designs. It's one of their amazing photo kits. Um, it's I'm also using, um, what do I want to say? These aren't overlays, but they are rose gold $2 Tuesdays from Sadie Stickers. Um, I'm using a variety of them. I always love to match um, Sticker Geek Designs um, photo kits with a bunch of foil because I think the kits are stunning. And I do not like to cover the photo kits with any kind of foil, um, but I do like to accent them with foil, so I always put tons of foil around them. So this is one of my favorite things to absolutely do, and one of my favorite um, ways to plan lately is to add all these little extra foil bits to my page and not necessarily on any stickers, but around the stickers. Um, and I just think it turns out so stunning and beautiful and it just makes me happy. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing great. As um, I think I've told you in some previous videos, we've been a bit busy around here lately, just getting used to going back to school. I had some extra days at work where I had to learn a new computer system, which whew, I tell you, I am definitely a different generation. I'm older and sometimes um, I'm sitting next to this younger girl in class and it was just so funny because I'm Gen X and she's Gen Z and she's just so sweet and lovely and I'm like you have to work next to me when this comes out so you can help me understand what we're doing and then I was we were joking about the differences between the two of us and I was like well don't you remember when you used to have printer paper and you actually had to roll it onto the printer and she's like what are you talking about like she she doesn't even know what I'm talking about and I'm like well the difference is you're trying to touch the screen instead of use a mouse and she's like exactly that's exactly the difference so it was just it was so funny like we giggled like she has no idea what I'm even talking about with certain printers and yeah, and yeah, so I just, I need her to come sit next to me when we actually launch this new computer system, which will be in November. So you're going to probably hear tons from me <laughs> about this new computer system when it actually goes live because they're moving us from, um, so I'm a nurse, just to let you know, but, um, so, and I work in the emergency department and we normally hand write everything. I know we're very old school. Um, but we do use the computer for quite a bit, but we do still handwrite a bunch of stuff. So basically they're making us paperless, right? So everything will now be in the computer. So we're trying to learn the new computer system and like some of us are just helpless. Like <laughs> I think I got it though. I think I did pretty good in the class to my credit. I think I, I think it's going to be just fine. I think it's just going to take us a while to like figure out where everything is to click and it's but it's all click button and like tick lists and so I think it's going to be absolutely fine. I think it's just going to be a little bit of a learning curve when it first all comes out. So yeah, <laughs> you guys probably don't want to hear all my work problem stories. Um, and then I don't know about you guys but like I love crafting. So like I love to do these paper crafts. I love to do my planning. I love to put stickers on paper. I also love cross stitch. I love crochet. And I've taken on a new kind of crafting thing. And I get I think I get it from my mom. Like my mom loves doing like we're not a master of anything, but we're a master of trying new things. So I'm willing to try or craft basically anything. And I've decided, like, so I bought, <laughs> there's a, like a, I want to say it's like a secondhand store, a Habitat for Humanity. So there is a Habitat for Humanity restore. So people donate, like, old construction stuff and that kind of stuff. And then Habitat for Humanity sells those items. So, like, used furniture, right? Like, if you were to, like, throw out your old couch, you can send it to Habitat for Humanity, and then they sell it, and all the proceeds go towards them building new houses. Make sense? Um, And so they get tons of, like, doors and filing cabinets and, like, chairs, but they get them from, like, 
local people, like just anybody who wants to donate their couch, but they also get them from like hotels, like when hotels redo the rooms, they'll send all of their chairs to like the Habitat for Humanity Restore, and then they price them and sell them off. So long story short, um, it's my favorite place to go look for furniture because I like to like repaint stuff and I like to like sand it down and I don't resell it. I actually use it for my own personal use. So I know that there's lots of people out there that are doing like furniture flips and stuff. That's not what I do with it. I like to like purchase it, but like keep it. So I, <laughs> the last one was this notoriously all wood dresser. I really wanted um, like a very unique looking dresser for cabinetry to store all my kids board games and that kind of stuff but neatly and so you couldn't see it. So I thought a dresser would be great like with drawers and stuff. Anyway I found this yellow like bright flaming yellow dresser for 30 bucks and it was like in rough shape. Anyway I sanded it down, painted it white, Anyway, and it turned out lovely. So I also bought two chairs. I recovered the chairs um, in material that I thought was beautiful and recovered them. So then I went with my friend because she's like, you have to take me to this store and help me look for a kitchen table because she had just bought a new house. This is a very long story. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so I took her to the store and right in the front door was the most ornate, beautiful love seat and chair and I was like that needs to live at my house and it is going to be a project and a half um but yeah I got it and I my husband's so mad at me because of course every time I go out to look at furniture with a friend I end up pur purchasing some type of $30 piece of furniture that I'm gonna redo and he's like we don't need more furniture <laughs> and I'm like don't we? I think we do. Don't we need more furniture? <laughs> He's like, Brandy, stop bringing couches to this house. And I was like, but why? Why? You need somewhere to sit. And he's like, he's like, because I have to lift it. I have to. And of course, if you, if you remember, my husband had knee surgery. So he's like, I can't lift that couch. And I'm like, I will get somebody to help me lift the couch. And don't you worry yourself. He's like, Brandy, we do not need more furniture. But I, I disagree with him. I think we do. And it's going to be the most amazing project. It's going to be crazy. Um, but yeah, so that's what I've done for the last couple of days is try to figure out a, how to get the furniture, which my buddy Darren has a truck, so he helped me get it. And B how I'm going to actually refinish it because I don't do this all the time. I am not a master of everything. I am a trier of everything. So, and as you watch my video, you know, I don't do things always like perfectly straight or in a line or <laughs> I liked ish is my favorite word. It's perfect ish. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I've been doing this week. As you can see, I always love to throw the boxes. This is my journaling planner, so I write all over the place. I love the pumpkins. Those are from um, Planting Roses. All the lovely little extra ornates are from Sadie's Stickers. The main kit is from Sticker Geek Designs. And of course, the code is down below. They are on a bit of a holiday. But I hope you guys are having a great day. And I will see you later. Bye, guys.